Hi, it's Michelle Shane, and in this video, you'll see a walkthrough of how I combine Storyline, Camtasia, and PowerPoint to create a training course to meet the needs of my client. The training course you're looking at shows the employees in this company how to use the PeopleSoft application to do their travel and expense reporting. You'll learn how using the navigation provided with Articulate Storyline enables some additional features to be included in this e-learning. The first thing you may notice is that the controller on the table of contents looks different than what you get with Camtasia. Notice how you can expand and collapse the modules and lessons. Also, after each lesson plays, it'll turn gray so the user can see which ones they've already completed. If you leave the course, then you return, you have the option of returning to exactly where you left off. Here there's a section for notes. On this side, there's a drop-down which contains clickable resources. A few other things that can be done in Camtasia but are easier to do in Storyline are adding some interactive features. For example, here I've got a Frequently Asked Questions screen. Uh, that's where people can engage with the program and they can see the answers to the questions. Down here, you'll see the video library, which you can click to view any demo you want from one central menu. One negative about this navigation in Storyline is the inability to click and have the video go to full screen or to hide the table of contents. This is only noticeable, really, when you see some of the Camtasia demos are not as clear as they should be. And that's because I originally created them for full screen before we decided to go with this type of player. As far as putting all this together, basically, once I had created all the PowerPoint slides and all the Camtasia demos, I then just opened Storyline and imported them all separately. And then I synced up my narration for each screen. There's plenty of instructions on how to use Storyline on the Articulate site. I hope this quick tour of how you can use Camtasia for your software demos and then add PowerPoint for your introductory or process slides and then Storyline to add an interactive table of contents can help you make very robust e-learning courses for your employees or your customers.